Our GMA cover story, the notebook star Jenna Rollins revealing to have Alzheimer's disease, just as her character did in the film. Morgan Norwood is back with the details. Good morning again, Morgan. Hey, good morning to you, Lara. Such a classic film, right? And it was Jenna Rollins' son who actually cast her to play a character with dementia. And now as the film celebrates 20 years since its release, life is imitating art in the most gut-wrenching way for the award-winning actress. What happened to me? Nothing. You just went away for a little while. She's the legendary Emmy Award winning actress in the widely beloved 2004 romantic drama The Notebook. I remember now. It was us. It was us. Oh, it was darling. us. Jenna Rollins, who gracefully portrayed the older version of Ali Calhoun, a character who struggled to remember fleeting memories of her lifelong romance, now battling dementia in real life. Her son, Nick Casaveres, who directed the film, telling Entertainment Weekly, I got my mom to play an older Ali, and we spent a lot of time talking about Alzheimer's and wanting to be authentic with it. And now, for the last five years, she's had Alzheimer's, adding she's in full dementia, and it's so crazy. We lived it, she acted it, and now it's on us. About four million women in the U.S. suffer with Alzheimer's. They make up about two thirds of all adults living with Alzheimer's. According to the CDC, Alzheimer's disease affects parts of the brain that control thought, memory, and language. It's a progressive disease that can lead to loss of the ability to carry a conversation and respond to an environment. We are gathering more and more evidence that lifestyle really matters here. We love to recommend about 20 minutes of brisk walking each day, getting your seven or eight hours of sleep, working on stress management strategies. You're wonderful. Roland, now 94 years old, made her film debut in The High Cost of Living in 1958, going on to work closely with her husband and legendary indie filmmaker John Cassavetes for decades. In 2015, she was presented with an honorary Oscar for her contribution in film and one of her last public appearances. But for her son, Nick, one of his fondest memories is the film they made together, saying after 20 years, it holds up pretty good. I'm just happy that it exists. There is a reason that so many books and movies tell the stories of patients with Alzheimer's disease. It is a decidedly human process and journey. And in a 2004 interview with O Magazine, Rollins talked about how her own mother's struggle with Alzheimer's impacted her decision to play Ally, saying it was tough, but a wonderful movie. So many of us would have to agree, guys, and certainly wishing oh, her well. Oh, yeah, sure was, and we're thinking about her. Such a hard condition. Ooh.